Women's 60 meter final, but let's show you athlete by athlete who is in the field. Shannon Ray will occupy lane one, formerly of Ole Miss. She set a personal best in the semi final. Remember, a lot of people are going to set personal best because we're over 5,000 feet of altitude and they will run faster in the thin air up here. Next to her, Shania Collins, who is a 2019 indoor champion. She ran that on Staten Island last year, running 7.16. Hasn't looked that good this year, only third in her semifinal heat, 7.23. Here's the Olympic champion in the 100-meter hurdles from Rio, working on her speed, and she too set a personal best in the semifinal. Since the Olympics, she has struggled to regain that kind of form, but we are in the Olympic year, and all her plans are to defend that Olympic title from four years ago. And the big favorite here in lane four is Javian Oliver. She has the world leading time that she set in the semifinal. The meet record is 699 by the legendary Gail Devers. We want to keep our eye on that because she ran 704 with no pressure and not a final at stake. Makaya Briscoe had the world lead right up until the semifinal round of 708. She has been undefeated in 2020. The former LSU Tiger, and make no mistake about it, there's Oliver and Briscoe, and then there's a gap back to whoever you think will get third in this race. And this might be the woman that gets third, Destiny Smith Barnett. She was an All-American at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and the 2019 NCAA Indoor Champion. The aforementioned Konisha Burks already has a national title in the long jump. Can she improve her personal best of 720? She ran 721 in her semifinal. And our final competitor, Mary Beth Sand Price, struggled with injuries as a collegiate sprinter, sprinter at Oregon, including a broken foot and a stress factor. She had to redshirt her season uh, at Colorado State, but is in a final at the national championship. That's a big deal for her, just to be in this field. So several things at stake here. Can JV Ann Oliver break the meet record here. We will see. She's center of your screen. Can Shania Collins back up and get another national title? I think the bigger question is, can Javian Oliver defeat Makaya Briscoe? Because I think we're in for one heck of a race in the middle there, four and five. Sonia told you the meet record, 699 of Gail Devers, certainly in jeopardy. Oliver looked very, very smooth. Briscoe runs a little tighter and you'll see that in the middle of the race. When these two match each other in the middle of the race, whoever relaxes better is going to be the national champion at 60 meters this year. Oliver almost equaled her personal best in the semifinal. Xfinity Women's 60. Oliver out really well, but so too Micaiah Briscoe. It's Oliver, Briscoe, Briscoe gets the national title. Micaiah Briscoe in a time of 7.05. Briscoe got it done because Oliver got off to a better start. Briscoe took her time, went through her dry phase. Here are the two protagonists. Oliver here, Briscoe just to her right. Oliver will get the better start. But look at Briscoe, patient, comes out of her dry phase. Now she does her damage and goes right by Oliver. So she doesn't get back her world lead, but she gets the more important thing, and that is her very first world, excuse me, national indoor championship. This is why they run the race, Lee, because I would have thought Javian Oliver for sure would be a national champion. She looked like she stumbled a bit around her third or fourth step and never regained her composure. And that cost her a national championship. There's a reason why Mikhail Briscoe is undefeated this year. She has had to face many challenges. She has met them all. That equals the world lead, 704. And it is 